Good morning. I hope everyone is having a wonderful November. I am cleaning off my craft desk to get ready for December daily. And I found these four uh, little golden book journals that I made a couple years ago. I made them for myself and I ended up never using them. And so I'm going to list them on Etsy at a very reasonable price in case someone else can get some use out of them. I'm just going to do a quick flip through of one of them because uh, they all are built under the same concept. And then I will list each one separately on Etsy with uh, better pictures and I'll just link my Etsy store down below. So this first one is Pippi Longstocking. All the journals have three signatures, a little grommet right here if you wanna add some charms. Um, they have a elastic band closure. So I have a vintage Pippi Longstocking, a, a vintage little kittens, a vintage Disney Sleeping Beauty. I think that's the one I'm gonna flip through. And then a vintage The Little Rabbit. Again, they're all um, three signatures. And they're basically um, just the base. Like I have not added a bunch of extras, so they're uh, extra ephemera inside, so plenty for you to um, add your own uh, ephemera and plenty of writing space. So um, so each one, like I said before, is three signatures and scrapbook paper. Oh, this one has a little, there's some ephemera added. Um, and so we have pages of the little golden book intermingled with uh, vintage paper. Um, and this is some, um, oh, I already, counting paper, some crafting paper. I added some tabs. Um, oh, there is some tags too and pockets. So this one has a spring of theme of paper because it's, um, you know, Sleeping Beauty and she lived in the forest for a little bit. So just some blanks. So as you can see, plenty of space for you to do your own thing. Um, and let's see, I do love Sleeping Beauty. So maybe I will flip through the others real quick just so you can get an idea of what the theme is. So yeah, this one I use floral scrapbooking paper. So it is newer scrapbooking paper intermingled with vintage paper. And then I made plenty of pockets, some more journaling, accounting paper. All right, so you get the idea. So three signatures of that, and I just used a elastic Closure. It'll close better once you have more stuff in it. So the little rabbit. Let's see what scrapbooking paper did I use. It's been a while. Okay, so more of like a springish um, browns and greens. Oh, that's very cute. Hmm. I did a kind of happy with these. It's been a couple years since I looked at them, but I can see why I made them. <laughs> I had every intention of using them, but then I really got into Halloween stuff, and and right now I'm gonna do Christmas, so I just thought maybe someone else will appreciate these. So some deer on this one. So definitely a woodsy, woodsy um, autumn fill for this. Um, the what is that? Lively little rabbit. Okay, and then the next one was the three kittens. What did I do for this one? So I did more of this um, autumn fill. Let's see. Oh, and I do have numbers in this one. Like if you wanted to do like a daily journal, numbers to count each day. Okay. All right, so tags, pockets, typical of me. Lots of little tags and pockets. And then I tried to keep the reason, um, looks like I try to keep the story intact. And I, I leave all, I'm pretty sure. It's been a while, I can't say it. I am 99.9% .9 sure that I leave all of the original little golden book pages in it. And it looks like I tried to keep them in order. And then I just added the extra uh, pages for you to journal on. Of course, you can always put stuff on these pages too, but they also look pretty darn good by themselves. Okay, so that's that one. Oh, sorry. And then the last one. I'll fix that in a minute. Last one is Pippi Longstocking. Here we go. Okay, so more of this 
autumn paper. And then here we go. Oh, I have some music paper in this one. Some older vintage paper in this one. Pockets with some tags. I love the original Pippi Longstocking. There was a movie in the 80s that I would watch over and over again. So this is a good one. Some more music paper. All right, same thing. Three signatures, lots of pockets, lots of journaling pages. What is this? The middle of this signature, pockets and tags. I'm hitting my tripod again, I apologize. Okay, and then, so that is that one. So there's four different ones. Like I said, they're pretty basic. There's not tons of ephemera in it. The idea was for me to like add tons of stuff for whatever month I plan to do. And so, um, anyway, enough of my rambling. I will list these on Etsy if you're interested. Um, if not, at least the flip through, you got an idea of how you can decorate your own uh, gold, little, little golden books. Thanks for watching, and I will see you later. I haven't posted a lot lately. If you're one of my regulars who watch my videos, I apologize. I just haven't. Uh, Honestly, real life has intruded and I have not had tons of free crafty time, but I totally plan to work on my December daily. And so I will do a video of before and after. And I do keep up to date with my daily journals. I have three different journals that I work on, a business journal, my daily junk journal, um, and just, uh, just a couple others. And so at the end of the year, I will do a flip through of the ones that I have been working on all year. Um, so even though I haven't like been crafty enough to make like new junk journals I have been working on my yearlies so anyway enough about that I hope you guys all have a happy Thanksgiving and I will see you in December